Greetings everyone, Ajon here, another Cup Heroes 2 replay. So on the south side, as a UKF player, we have Cardinal Wolseley. And as ally as a Soviet player, we have Capricia. So on north side, as the red Okidobi player, we have Addict. Note, this is another name for uh, speed, and I don't exactly want YouTube to get angry with me, so I'm just going to say Addict. And as ally, Boneless. Something I want to do is ensure... My OKW, not OKW, OBS stats are up, just so I get an idea. Due to how I record these replays, I use a lossless uh, mode for OBS, and so, and those files are pretty large. I just cast a replay that was about 50 minutes, and that consumed, what, 200 gigs of information? We do have two EMEA doctrinal lock-ins. We do got mechanized support, so we have access to guards and ISU-152s. And we do also have Overwatch, so we do have Left-18s and Jagerlite Infantry. And maybe some Goliaths. We do got two, uh, three squads of conscripts coming in out. We do have three squads of infantry section as well, not going for our HMG. Two Koopavagans eyeing to race for this point. Nope, just that one. And it looks like we've got the Kupelwagen Volksgrandier and Kupelwagen Volksgrandier. Another oh, manpower just slightly different. Looks like one player is a little bit faster than the other with the... Uh, as a manpower takes do decrease with the number of units you have on the field. Conscripts are trying to eye for some cover over here. Stone Pioneers could potentially get a good flanking route. Do have potentially a good flanking opportunity over here on the entry section. The Copa Wagon could go ahead and soak up the fire while the Volks Grandier are coming in to for the kill. Do have the Volks Grandier capturing up this cutoff point, but in the Copa Wagons are going straight for the munition as well. Volksgrandier has received quite a bit of fire, and the Kupawagen's pretty out of position. We'll get overwhelmed by a lot of rifle fire. We've got infantry section over here, and we've got Stumpiners eyeing to engage them, or head up for the cutoff point. Conscripts, conscripts hunting down that Kupawagen. Fourth squad of infantry sections coming in now, so no Vickers. Fourth squad of conscripts, so... The Allied play team will have a huge number of infantry. We do got now Volksgrandier coming out for both uh, OKW players. And yeah, the Stone Pioneers on the wrong side of town, completely surrounded by Allied infantry. The Stone Pioneer as well. He pulls your retreat back now, just so he doesn't get wiped. We have Kupelwagens coming on in. This low health one, however, is well, low health, but the combat engineers probably won't be able to deal with it in time with these two guys firing upon him. Folks around here using the same bags they have laid down. We've got more conscripts over here engaging these folks around here. So they're very low in health, forced on back. More reinforcing Volks Grandier. This is just a lot of Allied infantry. Jeez. All four Soviet conscripts are here. All super wounded. So he, the Soviet player needs to get some medics sooner rather than later. Or else he'll be sustaining a lot of manpower bleed for all these units. This squad is very low in health. We do have AT grenades here. It's going for uh, Ura. We'll get the snare off. Does not kill it off just yet. But a couple shots will. Using the line sight blockers though. This going over the debris will alert this opponent. Getting body blocked by his other t uh, friendly conscript squad. And this may be a dead Kubelwagen. There it goes. One shot took. It all only took. Intersection over here. Stone Pioneers over here. Volks Grandier over here. And you also have another doctrine. Oh, nope, that was just uh, command points being increased, not another doctrine. What could the UKF player go? Roar or artillery? 
against the LF-18s that's quite possible. Mobile assault if they're heavily congested with the land mattresses and tactical sport. Eh, tactical sport doesn't seem half bad either. All these options are pretty good. He doesn't need... He can also call in the field recovery operations and not worry about having a worthless recovery engineer as well. I'm saying that one just a raw engineer that doesn't have it. Five man squad upgrade should be in the future of the UKF player. He does actually have it. It's, we, uh, that is a considerable firepower buff to the UKF player. The conscripts are. Let's see. You can get guards, but no PPSHs or anything like that, so it's going to be a focus on seven man squads. Don't get me wrong, that's a good uh, upgrade. These squads are not in combat, and now is. That is three squads versus these f two. Over here, we do have the conscripts overwhelming the Volksgrandir, and they actually did lay mainly lay down a flare trap on that point, but don't doesn't kill any models. It is free, but just doesn't kill models. This Volksgrandir squad is super wounded, needs withdrawal. And we do have a the sniper out, but no kills. Has not been spotted or used in combat just yet. Exploded. Was that a the short cover? Over here, we do got some cinder grenades coming on out. We do got a lot of Volksgrandiers here, as well as an MG34. Good flank here. Great push. But this squad needs medics. He should withdraw it sooner rather than later just to get healed up. Same with this squad over here. Just a lot of wounded squads. Does His ally does have a battle group HQ and do also, also have a Puma. But there's no targets for the Puma. No T70 on the build queue, or even the structure for it. Uh, no even AEC research, so this Puma is way too preemptive. Sniper will be spotted shortly with that shot. And rolls a miss. Ooh, medical crates, exactly what he needed. I was saying, I said he needs withdrawal and get some healing, but medical crates are a good alternative. And he should pick up that last one before he leaves as well. Vickers here will get be flanked by the Puma, but we do got two squads of conscripts here. MG34 will suppress his uh, Maxim no problem, and Cedar Grenade will probably come out shortly upon it. Three squads of conscripts here. Ugh, these Volkgrindirs are only at four members. This one's at three. Stoom Pioneers are receiving quite a bit of damage. They should probably pick up this medical crate and then sort of hang back for a bit. The UKF has geared up the center map and I see some flares. Looks like he... Actually, that was a flare mine, I believe. I thought that was Royal Artillery at first, but nope, it's a flare mine. Incendiary incendiary grenade does come on out. And the Puma needs to get into machine gun range if it has any chance of actually engaging these units. We do got a bit of damage on the Puma. It has pretty low armor, so an HMG can potentially get a few points of damage. Not a whole lot, however. We do have a 221, however, out on the field. Being upgraded to a 223 shortly. And also denote the doctrinal lock-in of the armor. Ooh, it looks like the 221 received an AT gun shot. Does pull forward using his superior forward acceleration. But he need he needs to get on out of there. Drone pioneers are being suppressed by the Maxim right here. Let's try to jump over cover, but. He lost too many models. He still potentially could go be wiped. He's going to go straight past the Flamer Squad. Ooh, 
does not fire until too late. And do also have a huge advancement here. We do got two Jaeger Light Infantry. A Kupelwagen had his engine damage. I think he used... Nope. Not emergency repairs or anything. It was abandoned and recruit, that's for sure. Not sure where the Stone Pioneers are. Stone Pioneers are here. They can just tap the wrenches and probably get it fully repaired. Oh, and the Kupelwagen's engaging. He's going to focus on the Shum Pioneers. And does repair the engine in time. The, miss, uh, the, the shots that uh, missed actually was hitting the Kupelwagen, preventing it from getting fully repaired, thus preventing the engine crit from being removed. The Puma still engaging, but... Hasn't been able to do a whole lot of damage. And actually, he kills off the model that was throwing the Molotov. Picks up the, <laughs> picks up the head of medical crate. Though he is does have an opportunity to throw the Molotov into the structure. He will do some good damage. Though the squad is, could potentially go down, but is unlikely. Over here, UKF is pushing the center once again. A couple drop models, probably from the sniper. Sniper's only at four kills so far. Not a whole lot of kills. The 223 is over here using the lockdown resources, increasing the fuel income for this player. I think. What was it? Seven is natural. I think it increases up by. At least by seven. I'm not so sure of the exact amount. Which is not a pretty good amount. Oh, if we actually look at the his teammates to his own, it does increase it by seven. Quite a bit of munitions for the Magenta OKW player. Could upgrade his two Volk squads with STGs that have been upgraded. As well as have plenty of heat rounds for his Puma and any future unit. We do got Stukas of Foos coming out, uh, out on the field. Primarily, he's probably just deal with that Maxim he's been dealing, having trouble with. And the sniper rolls another miss. Another mine here, very nice to see. And we got the Rapuma over here. Looks like it dropped quite a bit of frames. It said drop 1.4 frames. Ooh. Hopefully this recording doesn't turn out too bad, but that's quite a no large number of frames to drop. Ooh, the Sukasafus is will get snared, but probably won't go down. He does have the Stone Piners over here. And there's a lot of units here just to protect it, so it's unlikely it will actually go down, but still. Not a good thing to have happen. Though this is a great spot for Stuka Zafus. We've got a pretty good flank over here. If folks are getting behind the intersection, this uh even the Copa Wagon's getting in the mix of it, but still has received a six pounder hit. Flames are forced it out, and we do have also have MG34. Commandos have been called on in, so it looks like we do have Dutch Lockin of Mobile Assault Regiment. Does have hold fire enabled, but I think he saw the unit and withdrew. Didn't realize he only has three models instead of five. Oh, he's actually bolting over. Those units may actually be trapped there. Nope. There's actually a small fence right here, you can see, where you can vault over. A cattle fence. Stukas of Foos. Right here. Over here. Great hit, then getting a whole lot of models, however. But I probably will force it back due to all the wounding. And ooh, Puma, AT grenade will kill it off. Do have a T 34 out on the build queue for the Soviet player. He's a bit far away in command points for the ISU 152, but probably his next vehicle will be towards that. 
has a 4 out for the red OKW player. And losing that Puma is a bit problematic, but he can supplement his force with with the Cannon Warfers if needed. He's getting opens a lot in squad, but I probably disagree with that and go for a like as as I mentioned before, the the Cannon Warfer. He needs some sort of AT, which at the moment he has none. Looks like the mine actually got detonated by the incendiary grenade. And we have the Panzer IV reverse moving in towards the enemy. And we also have a Cromwell out on the field for the UKF player. This could be a great hit for the Panzer IV. They're very stacked up, but it looks like he's just out of range or vision. We've got a flare coming on out. This Cromwell does get a penetrating hit while the Panzer IV does roll a miss. Two Jägerlite infantry here will ward away the conscripts no problem. Kupavagen is still alive after being resurrected. The Soviet player does have two Zisk guns, and they have the ambush uh, stealth ability. So the Soviet player is still in a good position. While he did lose one of the comp scripts, that's sort of a minor loss in comparison to his current loadout. Red Oak player still has a huge number of forces. Does have the Panzer IV. Could stand to have a Vikander weapon to support him as well. Though he does have quite a bit of manpower and fuel, maybe he's saving up for a left 18. We do got one. And two fouls coming on out. It looks like another mine was there. Well, the sn those snares won't exactly allow him to kill off the unit. It will probably just keep the Soviet player at bay. Wait. Wow. What was that scatter? Here, 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 and here. What? What was that scatter? Was that... That's a creepy mirage still. And I got that creep that scatter was actually quite significant. Maybe it just hit a tree for this uh projectile. Looks like the dead Kuba wagon over here is still not salvaged. Actually hops in this building. I'm not sure how many windows, just two. That's actually not a very good building to use. And I don't think this window is actually usable. I think there's only two windows on this side as well. Carmel is at full health, so is... Never mind. No longer the Panzer IV. There is a shoe mine right here. The combat engineers will not find it. Oh, and it looks like we do got a snare on top of the Karamo. The OKW Panzer IV is at full health, no longer. But now that Karamo is one shot away from death, the if the Volkswagen should try to focus it down the... Oh, rolls a bounce there. Decides to force it back, take back the Oka uh, Panzer IV, but it's going to go in for a pair of Fausts. No, he doesn't have the munitions! He doesn't have the munitions for a pair of Fausts! He needs to get that Panzer IV back in the fight. Ouch! That was a bit painful, but... Does the crew one the AT guns, forces the other one back. The Panzer IV is getting caught up in the terrain. Rolls a miss. Land mattress coming on in, but doing quite a bit of friendly fire damage. And rolls another miss. Uh, throws out smoke. He's one shot away from death. He's in. And rolls a miss as well. 
The LKW Panzer IV rolled so many misses. That should have been a death for the Chromo, but... And the OKW player, I would say, largely got unlucky. And the fact that he just out of munitions just made it even worse. He could have got two fouls, could have killed it, but he had no munitions for it. Oh. That feels so bad. One part bad luck, two parts of... Bad munition expenditure had a... What did he spend all of his munitions on? He's not a doctor, he doesn't really spend a whole lot. Maybe a lot of mines? We have seen a lot of mines. He also needs a lot of manpower. We do have another Panzer IV on the build queue. That's nice to see. I do like the OKW Panzer Force. They have a ridiculous amount of armor. And they're able to fight infantry as well. Yeah, show him who's boss of the Cannon Warfare. Looks like the T-34 is moving forward. He has repositioned the Cannon Warfare to engage. It'll take two more shots before it goes down. Volksgrandia here has been suppressed. Needs to withdraw them sooner rather than later. Oh, and the Cromwell kills them off. This could be deadly. Oh, it's deadly! Nearly wipes out that uh, Conscript Squad, nearly wipes out the uh, Maxim as well. We do got another OKW Panzer IV, this time from the Elite Armor. We most likely may see some heat rounds here, but there are those two stealthed AT guns. One of them stealthed. Don't see the heat rounds just yet. Two good hits, three good hits, one shot away from death. And there goes a Carmo, living much longer than it should have. Land Master's coming on in, is hitting the Pence Force. I think that guy can still have above the 160 damage threshold. have a Zis gun here. Does get a nice penetrating hit. I hear... Oh! P-34 wipes out the Kobobagen. It is at bed 1, so could use it to capture the point. This one has the one shot taken. This one has a little bit more, so this one can still take three shots and still be alive. This one, not so much. And it's also the one who received uh, fire. Obsidots are now out. There's a lot of conscripts here. We do also have this Panzer IV. Katusha Barrage. Oh, that's a deadly Katusha Barrage. Next set of rockets. Does not wipe anything. Both these AT guns are over here. One has one star veterancy, which doesn't mean a whole lot. Those activate the camouflage mode now. Which could catch the OKW Panzer Force off guard. Our mine was built there. And we do have this uh, combat engineer here, but does have the flamer. Should have stayed out of the range of the flamer. Now they're bunched up, so the flamer will do some extra damage. Though, oh, that combat engineer did not last very long versus the Jaeger light infantry. Sukasafus coming in for another barrage somewhere. Great hit there by the Panzer IV. We 
do got the T34 here. He does. He's going to throw in a couple fouls. Does retreat back one with that one man left. Could throw a fouls in from this guy. Does execute up, and there go. Engine is damaged. We got both these Panzer Force now moving on forward. It's going to deal with the infantry along the way, but we'll run straight into the, both the stealth Vakenwerfer. As well as the M1 AT gun. Or 6 pounder, I should say. They're actually the same gun. As far as I know. The charges may be a bit different, but I believe they are actually technically the same gun. Does wipe out the Maxim. Could force fire and destroy the weapon. Yes, he is. Ooh. Ah, large miss. He tried to hit those AT guns and two misses. That's just a bit unlucky. And another miss. Unsuccessful at destroying the Maxim. Volksgrenadier forced back by the artillery once again. The UKF player doesn't have any sort of vehicles. Does he have hammer or anvil? He does have ham. He does have hammer. So we may see some comets. Like one of the squads of Volks went down. Another great hit by the Panzer IV. Just only if we can actually get a hit on the Maxim. Suppression may save the MG, but. He's such low health, just needs one. Oh, they recovered. Pickers here, MG34 here. <laughs> Most of these models are actually the uh, sergeant upgrade models. Which are the capeless guards. MG34 moving on in. Does throw an incendiary grenade on top of the Vickers. No, that's a Maxim. Vickers is over here. And this Panzer Force going to come in for some damage once again. A lot of MGs for the uh, allies. So the Stux of Foos will have some good targets to choose from. So the target. Great hit on the Maxim. And that's super great. Just get some good wound reactions. But this Panzer Four could potentially clean them up. Needs a pintle mount, really. It adds in a lot of damage. Ooh, this Panzer IV was snared, maybe from a mine. T-34 coming on in, could ram it to ensure the kill, but nope, does get a penetrating hit. This Tuxafus is in a bad location. Oh, if he has vision, he does not have vision. The T-34 does go down, but does trade it for the, okay, the Panzer IV, which is a relatively good trade. There is a mine there. He does throw a snare, but does not snare it. Oh, he's outside the capture zone. He may not look like it, but he is. Ooh. Good dodge. This Maxim has not been re-secured or destroyed. We do also have an ISU-152 now out on the field. Equipped with uh, high explosive rounds. He's going to put a shoulder on his teammate for some anti-vehicle support. And does have a Cromwell. Or Car not Comet, not Cromwell. And that is a dead infantry section getting some good hits from the Panzer IVs. That squad it does do an outright retreat, which is good. Oh, he oh, even high explosive rounds can kill off the Stukas of Foos. He has vision of it, but no, he does not. That thing should have died a long time ago. There was some multiple good eye chances. And of course, need to withdraw. They're super wounded. We do got Sturm Tiger now out. We do got the Overwatch is Sector Assault coming on in. We'll just just generally ward away the stuff. Didn't do didn't do much damage. 
But now Sturm Tag is here. He's going to focus and obliterate one of these MGs. Retreats back to this one first. This one will escape before it fires. Only game one of the models, actually. It immediately starts to reload action. Their support is covering him. AT Guns is setting on up. Does is in range with one of them, but doesn't have vision. Looks like the Dishka mount managed to kill off the aircraft. Ooh, great hit. Doom Tiger almost fully reloaded. BPs are heavily in favor of the Allies at the moment. Ahead by over 200. So they just don't need to, the Allies need to play for a BP gain. Just a little bit longer and they'll win. Sturm Tiger fully reloaded. Oh, the Jägerlight infantry is good for spotting. As well as these flares. We do also have a M5 half track immediately being upgraded with the quad half track. I need to lock down that ability through the use of anti aircraft. Sturm Tiger fires. Does not wipe either squad, though I think the guns may be in destroyed state, so when they do uh, go to uh, get the crew, the, the gun will be outright destroyed. I'm take over here, not fully repaired, but there are some Royal Engineers. Two Panzer Fours, he has enough uh, manpower and fuel for a third Panzer Four, but a Yalig Panzer may be his best option. Or go for King Tiger. I think he's actually saving up for King Tiger. Both of them, maybe. Based on all how they have all the teching structures, I think both of them do. Six of Foos comes on in. Great hit, but does lose another squad. Great hit. Sturm Tiger going in for a very close range shot. Uh, he's actually within the minimum range, I believe. Firing now. Where's those Okadoyu Panzer IVs? They're way up here. Does get a great hit, full damage. But the Vikander Warfare does get decrewed. Looks like we do got Mark Target. No, he's reloading and Mark Target. He reloaded in middle combat, forcing the abandon. He just gave his opponents a free Sturm Tiger. That was a massive blunder, but we do have the Panzer Force coming on in. But rolls a miss there. This does not look good for the OKW players. Has hold fire enabled. Could pitch to kill off the Sturm Tiger or the Katusha or something. He rolls a pen, but not enough to kill it. Fires the HE round did actually do some damage, but was unable to kill anything. This is a huge loss for the OKW players. Gave away a Sturm Tiger, literally, and now they have. Pants lost another Panzer four as well. They do have a King Tiger out. The Magenta OKW player does not have a Battle Group HQ, so there's no King Tiger for him either. Get another Sturm Tiger. There's plenty of fuel for that, but two or three Yag Pons are maybe his best option. Maybe a Panther or two. Ooh, great landmine. It's meant for infantry, but man to get a Panzer IV. King Tiger probably will save the Panzer IV. Rolls a bounce, rolls two bounces, rolls a miss. He has these uh, Sturm Pioneers here, ready to repair. Oh, looks like they're the ones who picked up that uh, downed flamer. Which makes sense, he had all his guys up with STGs. None of them had weapon slots. I do not want to see your Sturm Tiger. He needs something else than a Sturm Tiger right now. 
Though I can see the temptation. Stream Tiger here needs repairs. Oh, he needs more than one combat engineer for repairs. But he's beyond Pop Cap. 109 securing that Storm Tiger. He needs to lose a couple squads. Perhaps throw a couple of Mol Molotovs on his own support weapons to give to his uh, uh, teammate. Great penetrating hits there, but losing squad is not a whole huge problem. Still above Pop Cap. They're sneaking right there. Not a massive hit. White Phosphorus round does come forward, does force away the, eight, the machine gun and outright to cruise it. The AT guns here are, well, are here. He has no grenades with these Jager Light Infantry. It's not scavenged, there's no grenade assault. But getting a lot of bounces on the frontal armor. Let's go, go ahead and force fire the death of the, uh, the Kenworfer right here. Does get a penetrating hit. Or a, a hit. Those things can actually be quite hard to hit the smaller weapons like that. That has like a target size of 10. I think machine guns have a target size of 10. While AT guns, other AT guns have a target size of like 20. Oh, immediately gets suppressed that extra efficiency providing the suppression. Suppression of field control. Shows that AT gun. I think he actually missed and the splash damage got it. Has eight high explosive rounds equipped. Should potentially uh, change to the AP rounds and engage the King Tiger. Throws an incendiary grenade there, but needs withdrawal. He's going to lose a squad at this rate. Or oh, mutually extraordinary destruction, really. Monos do manage to live the barrage from the Panther. He's going to get in nice and close with the MGs, but it's unlikely he'll get a squad wipe. The Tiger far from being repaired. Receives a good penetrating hit there from the Tiger tank, from the Comet tank. And now Sukuzafus coming into this general location. It could potentially wipe out the Comet tank. But it rolls a large miss. Paris coming on down for the Comet Tank. How is that Stroom Tiger's repairs coming along? <laughs> Non-existent. <laughs> oh. I can understand he's just way too taxed on a single squad of combat engineers for repairs. Right hit right there. We do also have the Sector Assault coming in once again. Do we still have the AA the a half track? Yes, we do still have the AA half track. Good hits right there. One aircraft goes down. Another aircraft goes down. He is going to try to snare this uh, quad half track, but won't really accomplish all too much. He's far from capitalizing its death, or actually, no, he's not too far away from it. Finds a landmine as well. That's actually pretty good. Now you can dive upon it without having to worry about actually losing it entirely. All the aircraft are now shot down, and the quad half track is just one shot away from death. And there goes the quad half track. Though it did its job and shot down all the aircraft. Great hits there. Katusha. Ooh. Received quite a bit of damage there, but... Usually, you rarely ever see it with damage. It's either alive or dead. You rarely ever in between. Tickets. It is triple cap in favor of the OKW players. And they are catching up quite a bit. 60 to 100. It looks like we do got some commander artillery coming on in. Great hits. And that's a wipe. The King Tiger is still pretty wounded. 
Sturm Tiger has not made appearance whatsoever in the Soviet's hand. Though it actually does have a bit of veterancy. I'm not sure from what. Explosive rounds are still equipped. There are two Vikendon Warfers here. He could potentially use the uh, Concrete Piercing Round to go to get a high precision shot. Vikendon Katusha getting some good hits. The Ken Whiffers are also getting a good hit. Panther comes on in, uses the heat rounds, but rolls a bounce. Ziskun rolls a pen. The Panther could call some artillery in right there. Panther, however, needs a withdrawal. Those are actually calling the artillery upon the Panther tank. Those lose another squad of something. I think both. Of and there goes the Panther down to all AT guns. And now we got a firing line hitting the Yagpanzer. One of the AT guns who are decrewed can use the Yagpanzer to destroy it. As a force to see three penetrating hits. And the Panzer 4 does go down entirely. Vet 3 6 pounder here, that would do a significant amount of damage. Sturm Tiger. Ooh. How many models did that get? Uh, they may have got. To, no, we saw the Volk Squad retreat, so. Didn't get a squad wipe, actually. Multiple AT guns decrewed by the OKW players. The OKW players may actually win this game. Even after gifting their opponents a Sturm Tiger. But the Sturm Tiger, I think that was the first shot it fired in the Soviet's hand. Just not enough repairs. His ally didn't help him repairs either. If they, his ally would have helped him with repairs, it would have been much better. Those have a smoke there. Tusha coming in way too close. AP rounds are equipped for the ISU 152, but they're very low in health. He round is used, but rolls another uh, bounce. I feel bad. It just seems like all those heat rounds have just been bouncing. And Tiger getting some great hits on top of the infantry section. And he actually managed to secure up the point before getting killed off. So tickets are counting in favor of the allies. The allies do have less tickets now than the Axis players. But they're in a much better position. Soviet player finally has a second squad of, of combat engineers for repairs. The UKF player has access to his uh, call, repair call-in ability, but he has pretty much no munitions left now. It does have four land mattresses. Four is way too much. Two, I would say, is the max, but four, way too much. He's been needing to get, he needs a firefly or two, but his manpower is such so low. Because of who's coming on in. Ah, hitting this, trying to hit that squad over here. Got a Panzer IV and Panther here. And so far there will be a triple, uh, it just looks like a single cap right now in favor of the allies. Vickers here suppressing these squads, but the Jagerlite infantry are camouflaged. But not any longer. And forces them back. The Allies are just going to try to play for the VPs. Sturm Tiger, way out of position. Though this could be a great shot. This is a lethal shot to the Panzer IV. Let's get a snare right there. And it is stunned for the time being. Heat rounds are coming on in. But, oh, this gun here to support could potentially kill off the Panzer IV. One more shot. Rolls a miss, however. Panzer IV still alive, but barely. Ah, he's attack moving, but not having any vision. I'm taking another penetration on the King Tiger. Panzer IV still alive. He needs a force fire where he is at. And rolls a miss. Eh, 
Man, there's no need for that. Attack is still alive. Has the spearhead mode for increased rate of fire as well as suppression for his machine gun. So this can be quite nice just to have it lock in the front 90 so it doesn't actually hit something else. Ooh. This triple cap. No, if he did night, they deny the triple cap, but they still double cap against them. This point is nowhere near being secured. This point's nowhere being secured. At this rate, the OKW players will win. Vickers here is pitching in, but does get decrewed. Panther does go down. Or maybe that's the previous Panther. Snare does come through. There's only high explosive rounds equipped on the ISU-152. And that is the end of the game. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.